Good morning internet! In this video I want to talk about some stuff that I don't really know what to say about. I get a lot of questions and there's a few common ones that I never really answered because I never really knew what to say about them. But since I think some of them are worth talking about, I figured that even if I can't say anything interesting about them, I might at least raise some interesting questions. So to start with in this video I want to talk about eugenics or the idea that we should artificially manipulate our gene pool or steer humanity's evolution. Basically some people would argue that if we can select genes to make people healthier, stronger, uh, smarter, better in some way that we should. Obviously this raises some questions and some moral issues and I'll give you my view on it as far as it goes. The first thing I want to get out of the way is the playing God argument. The question whether it's okay to meddle in things that only God should have power over or that God did not intend us to meddle in. As someone who doesn't believe in God, I can't identify with that argument. I, I don't think there is a, a higher cosmic authority figure or a divine rule book that we should play by. I also don't think that should ever be seriously considered in a scientific or legal context unless there was evidence for it. That said, manually selecting all of our children's genes is something that could obviously have a profound impact on just about everything and should be carefully considered. The interesting question to start with though, if you ask me, is why is the way we're doing it now better? Right now when we make babies we leave it entirely up to chance which of our genes our babies get and which mutations could occur in the process. And it might sound like the best thing to do to just let nature decide but I think that's more of an emotional argument than a rational one. Nature isn't a conscious thing, it doesn't plan or decide, it doesn't have your child's best interest at heart. So the interesting question is why is it inherently better to roll the dice with our genes and to pick and choose ourselves? The first thing that I can think of as a counter argument on the top of my head is that there might be a few things in which random chance would be a better selector than we would be. One great example being gender. We have a roughly equal amount of men and women in the world right now. If people were given the choice there is no guarantee that that balance would remain the same. That more people wouldn't you know sadly want a son for example. Which of course might not lead to the best of situations in the long run. But generally speaking I have to admit that when it comes to eugenics I haven't done nearly enough reading or thinking to have a decent opinion on the topic. I would almost definitely be for eugenics though if it's only for health purposes. If we can wipe out genetic diseases, I don't see a reasonable argument why we shouldn't. On the other hand though, allowing gene manipulation in the hopes of changing things like, you know, intelligence, talents, looks, gender, that is more of a gray area. Mainly because I find it hard to predict what kind of impact that would have on our culture and society in the long run. Especially if there's also going to be an imbalance between who has access to this technology, either practically or financially, and who doesn't. I feel like for one it could definitely increase discrimination and excessively indulge some of the unhealthier, superficial obsessions of our society. Greatly at the expense of people who don't follow the trend or don't have the means to and will be more judged or more deemed inferior because of it. But since this video is more about trying to spark a debate rather than settle it, I'm actually curious to hear what you guys think, so if you have any comments, put them down below. Click the like button if you like this video, share it if you really liked it, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>